So now, as we move on through the book of Revelation, chapters 21 and 22, we read this after verse 8. Verse 9 says, And one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues came and spoke with me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. So what is this bride, or who is it? And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Her brilliance was like a very costly stone as a stone of crystal clear jasper. It had a great and high wall with twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names were written on them, which are those of the twelve tribes of the sons of Israel. There were three gates on the east, and three gates on the north, and three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. And the wall of the city had twelve foundation stones, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And the one who spoke with me had a gold measuring rod to measure the city and its gates and its wall. And the city is laid out as a square. Its length is as great as its width. And he measured the city with the rod 1,500 miles. Its length and width and height are equal. This may be why the Mediterranean Sea has disappeared. This thing is huge. And he measured its wall 72 yards according to human measurements, which are also angelic measurements. In other words, it's the wall is 72 yards thick. And the material of the wall was jasper and its city was and the city was pure gold like clear glass. The foundation stones of the city wall were adorned with every kind of precious stone. The first foundation stone was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysopris, the, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each one of the gates was a single pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. I'd like to see the uh, clams from which those pearls came. And I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb are its temple. The city has no need of the sun or of the moon to shine upon it, for the glory of God has illumined it, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nation shall walk by its light, and the kings of the earth shall bring their glory into it. And then in the daytime, for there shall be no night there, its gates shall never be closed, and they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. Now listen, and nothing unclean, and no one who practices abomination and lying shall ever come into it. Now here's the counterpoint, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now here's the thing, folks. This city is a wonderful place. <clears throat> and one of the things about the city that I want to point out to you is that it is an incredibly beautiful place. It's just like the wealthiest, wealthiest place you could imagine. Bill Gates couldn't build this. Nobody could build this except God. It has the richest materials, the largest and highest walls, the thickest walls, the most amazing beauty, and it's full of light. It never goes dark. This is where you're going if you're written in the Lamb's Book of Life. This is your town. Now, I love San Diego. I've lived here most of my life, and it may be that I'll move sometime but right now I'm still in the San Diego area. And I, I think it's a beautiful town, but there's nothing to compare to this. And the gates are open so you can, you can go where you want to go. This is where God has prepared a place for you, like Jesus said. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. This is it. It's going to be nice, but only if you're written in the Lamb's Book of Life. How do you get written there? It's very simple. You just come to the Lord, 
And you say, I want that water of life, Lord. I want to live with you forever. And I want to turn away from all the things that are evil. The things in my life, the things that I see, the things that I don't know about, I want you instead of all that. Now when you do that, your name is written right down there in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hope God blesses you. This is another short video on Revelation chapter 21. The next video will be on the final chapter in the book. And remember, this is not the end. I know some of the Bibles that I have have a, have a thing, the end. Well, that's dumb. It's just the beginning. It's the beginning of everything we ever wanted. The final verse of Psalm 23 says, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is it. This is where you'll be. This is the place of blessing. There will be enough. And if you lived in poverty your whole life, here you'll be, live in wealth you cannot imagine, all provided for you just because your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. God bless you.